Well, Tony, well, yeah. uh, uh, how's the new job suiting you there? I'm hearing good things. I tell you, it, it couldn't be better. Um, the the transition with the employees, communicating with them, uh, myself communicating with uh, with other, the people coming in the door. It's been excellent. I couldn't I couldn't ask for better. Not only in the courthouse, but open voter registration. Um, there's not as many people there at voter registration mm-hmm. right now, but uh, it's been all good. Um, you know, we're going through a lot of uh, you know rules and regulations. We want to uh, start and uh, move forward with certain things, as uh, as in voter registration with the, the election coming up. Uh, and you know, 2024 is not that far away. So we we've, we've got issues there we're working on. And court, and of course, the courthouse is always an open door deal with a lot of um, people coming in for certain things. And I've got some numbers here I'll share with you here in a little bit. Sure. So only a, a week or so into the new job here, mm-hmm. uh, it's not reasonable to expect too much uh, too soon. But can you tell us what your biggest challenges will be as you seek to put Tony Petrucci's stamp? Well, I've had on the two. Job? I've had two major problems. Um, some of the people haven't gotten uh, used to the uh, Notre Dame fight song, so we've got to <laughs> we've got to work on that a I little. I hear it's on a continuous a loop little bit. Us, right? and, and I have been able to get a big screen uh, put in the main area for entertainment. And some of the girls asked if we could stop watching Rudy. Well, <laughs> so that's a I said, sure, way. sure. Yeah. Now, and all kidding aside. Um, what was the question? No, I don't even remember. <laughs> I think the question was, what actor played Rudy in the movie? <clears throat> Stephen Austin. Steve Austin. Sean Astin. So Sean Austin. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Steve Austin, yeah. Sean Astin, same almost thing. the same Sean, guy. Sean Austin. Steve, is Sean, is Sean yeah. Astin. 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 Yeah. yeah. All right, so you're for one on the quiz questions early on here. Okay. Who, all right, here's an, here's an easier one. Who was his, who, what actor played his dad in the movie? No, he just passed on. Ned yeah. Beatty. Yeah, Ned Beatty. Good job. Yeah. All right, you redeemed yourself. Okay. We're right there. Good job. Yeah. So, it, 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 did you look at th- this job here? What are what are your biggest challenges in terms of getting the courthouse to, to look the way the clerk's job? To well, look the way you want to... um, there's always issues that come up, but what I've seen right now uh, is just maintaining meeting the deadlines that we have every month at the first of the month for uh, transfer tax money to be distributed. Uh, you know, there's the whole list of things. So. You know, instead of having uh, a haphazard approach to some things, uh, you know, I'm letting the people do the work. You know, if if you if you, you've got that to do, you do you do it. If you got other things to do, you do that first. So I, I think they realize that I'm not going to bother them. Uh, I'm not going to change what they do unless I see there's issues that need to be changed per per state code or whatever. But uh, um, I really don't have – we have a major move, I think, that they want to do in a couple of years with the county. That's going to be a big challenge from there to the uh, – as, as uh, Commissioner Stubblefield uh, knows uh, – um, from there to the Dunn building, Dunn building, which is going to be um, quite a challenge. So, you know, we're not really getting ready for it now, but I dread it because I look at that building and – I mean, the, what we're in now, I mean, I mean, you know, it's it's a nice structure. And there's is, a lot of room. It, it is, Tony, but from but, last, well, when you and I were on the commission yeah. together, that was always, that had been the intent. That's to right. Move it over. We tried That's to right. have all the county offices That's in right. the same place. Mm-hmm. And the reason it would not mm-hmm. move far, uh, faster, I think, was in deference to John Small. It could have been. Yeah. It could have been. And just, the, uh, I want to give you a couple numbers here. Uh, Transfer tax collected in the county clerk's office, which includes the tax stamps and uh, uh, deed recordings and birth certificates. And 2021, we did 11 million, over 11 million dollars. They came in that well. 2022, uh, a little over 10, 10 million. So it's it's dropped a little bit, but mm-hmm. that's to be expected as far as. Uh, the housing issue but uh if i could tony very yep. quickly you mentioned distribution a while ago mm-hmm. uh that it goes to farmland protection some and, of it and parks and rec yes some of it, yes. Some of it goes to the state as yes. well and yes that's what john hardy is working on right to uh, uh to take it uh, to divert the state's portion either to something local that's correct yeah. that's correct yeah the farmland protection uh and it's all public knowledge uh mm-hmm. cut for last month was one hundred sixty-one thousand dollars. that's just farmland yeah mm-hmm 
Go ahead, yeah. Bill. Yeah, no, that was the point, is that it's uh, uh, the transfer tax are locally uh, derived. They should remain local. So mm -hmm. I want to give John Hardy full credit uh, and try to keep all those taxes local. I agree. And because it's it's the backbone of especially farmland protection and, to a lesser degree, parks and recreation. Yep. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. John yeah. Gilstrap. Farmland protection is a new phrase for me. What does that actually mean? Farmland protection. There's a farmland protection board that we have here in Berkeley County. Jefferson County has one. I believe Morgan County. A lot. A lot of them. In this, all of them. All of them. The whole, every the every county has, yeah, has, yeah. has a farmland protection board to be able, and it's strictly voluntary on the farmer who wants to come to them and say, "Hey, I've got 200 acres. I want to protect this farm. Protected from uh, development. Development. Okay. You know, which, and they say, okay, fill out an application." Um, there's certain criteria, however, that has to be met in order to uh, be up on the upper scale. Yeah, there might be 10 farms in one year that apply. So if uh, out of 800 points, I think that's the maximum they have, um, they're, they're scaled on that. They're based on you know, whether you have running water through the property, whether you're uh, uh, accessible to pu public water and sewer development, which years ago wasn't a factor it was sort of a different uh, aspect of it but now they they use that as a higher point structure if you if you are with uh, around a lot of development and that type of thing um of course agricultural use if there's f farm ground and uh, that they use so um then they go through that process and if you meet the criteria if you're up on the upper top five then you move if you want to do that they give you a number based on so much an acre and the cap is sixty five hundred dollars yeah if i can mm -hmm. uh there's two ways to preserve farmland in the yeah. area uh <laughs> one is farmland protection tony is exactly right sixty five hundred at one time is unlimited That's one correct. time they That's were paying correct. as much as fifteen to twenty fifteen thousand i think was the highest per per acre per acre uh but now it's down to 65 cap the other venue to uh to protect farmland is through the land trust here the land trust you do not get you do not get paid for it uh you do get a tax break so there's two ways to protect farmland in the area land trust and farmland mm -hmm. preservation mm -hmm. and the intent is essentially to keep farmland compensate families to keep Sure. The, the that's the farmlands away from that's the idea, but exactly. yeah, I, I think there's been over eighteen thousand acres so far. Bill, I really think sure. just in Berkeley County, yeah, when you Berkeley throw County, Jefferson County, and there's another P preserve ten to fifteen thousand yeah. as well. It's so, been very effective um, in the area. Does that make sense to you? That's, yeah, that's how it's done. I mean, there's probably some, I mean, something I missed. Uh, Mr. Chavones, the executive director of that, does a great job uh, with his board. And uh, so anyway, you might want to have him on. He's retiring. Here oh, yeah. no, this year. I'll get another pies on the show. <laughs> Give me his number. Uh, I'll call him. Okay. Uh, and the other one is, uh, is land crush as well. Uh, uh, with with uh, Grant uh, Grant Smith and my mm -hmm. wife Bonnie and several of those yeah. are very active. So the two of them work hand in hand. They're not in competition. They work That's very closely. Absolutely. They they share uh, many times. They share uh, co-holding the title. Tony Petrucci is our guest. He is the new clerk in Berkeley County. Tony, so let's talk about the job that probably puts your face on it more than anything else, and that's elections. And, sure. And we had some difficulty with elections over the last yeah. uh, year when we had the primary and the general. So mm -hmm. uh, first and foremost, uh, early voting locations. Will we have multiple yes. early voting locations this time around? Yes, that is our goal. It, will, it has been approved two years prior by the council. Uh, there is a deadline, however, that you have to submit to the Secretary of State's office, which we will do, to place uh, uh, a location in the northern part of the county and also in the southern part. So that's that will yes, that will happen, along with the existing uh, early voting for 10 days down at the Dunn building. How okay. about the western part of the county? I haven't thought about that, that's Bill. A, that's the longest drive, north and south. You get mm -hmm. on 81, it's very easy. It, it's going from western part of the county well, to... Nothing's county. in stone. Good. You know, that's something that you know, we could take a look at with the uh, uh, council and also um, um, my guy that takes care of the voter registration. we got a guy. 
You got a guy in there, yeah. Not a pause on, though, but he's in there. We'll work on that. He'll be all right. Uh, okay, so uh, that's early bo- voting locations. A coordination with the Secretary of State's office mm-hmm. so that the ballots look like they're supposed yeah. to look and they're in the right place. Yes. That, they have been out there for numerous years, the Secretary of State's office, for information that we need. And I've, and I've told Tom, who's in charge of the voter registration center, the guy. The guy. Uh, <laughs> to, if you have questions you got to call them. you got to call me. you got to ask for the deadlines. If there's training available, which I think we were lacking in, for yourself, for me, for your employees, you know, whether – I'd like to see them go on site and get the training instead of do a, sitting at the Location, desk yeah. and doing it. So I, they need to do that. Uh, but the Secretary of State's office is, is right down there at the old train station. Uh, there's always somebody there that can answer your questions. Or I have numerous – um, people I've communicated with during the election time that, that's not there to give me further information I might have needed. So mm-hmm. there's no reason why we fail. Uh, if we do, then, you know, of course, we have to look at why we did, but uh, it, it's not going to happen because we, we've got the resources. we got the resources with the city also to communicate with them if they have um, issues on the ballot. You need to have somebody come down and take a look at it, make sure we didn't miss anything. Uh, so Secretary of State's big thing, along with the auditor's office with the financial part. Different different subject, mm-hmm. but I just wanted to throw that out. Okay. And you mentioned the financial part because that was a big part of your yeah. primary against yeah. Elaine Mock as to yeah. how much of a financial role the clerk holds in the county. Yeah, it's a big role, and uh, I have a financial director. Uh, I try to work closely with this person on – a weekly basis if needed you know every day that goes hand in hand as uh, uh commissioner subfield knows with the county administrator and the county council whatever information they need especially now because it's it's budget time uh we get we get we can get for them with no problem but they have to ask uh to, in order to put their uh budgets together uh starting very very soon i had to submit i think uh, january 12th is a cutoff date to get the elected officials budgets in Billy. yeah uh one of the concerns of times past tony have been the scanning of all of our records yeah. where are we with scanning well we're still still at the same point uh as we were a month ago we're working on that we've had um one or two people that's taking care of that up to i think we're 1998 and up we're okay we're working back towards that part as far and as back goes back to 1850s if, if there's stuff available that can yeah, be yeah. you know there's some that's just you know you can't scan if it's too old well oh you mean it's too fragile yeah yeah okay mm-hmm. now i um uh, to give uh, uh miss mark credit i think she had started working on that mm-hmm. uh she and, did but there has to be some preliminary work done before mm-hmm. you can actually do the physical yes. um uh, scanning uh is that is that still it's, progressing it's still progressing yeah. uh cross training is something we probably need to take a look at so we can have yeah. uh you know if somebody's off that day we don't want this part not to yeah, be done. That's a real concern of mine is that none of our buildings are purely, pure, purely fire protected. And mm-hmm. there is always a risk. Or if you do not, and we have sprinkler systems that can do just as much damage. Correct. We've been very fortunate in Berkeley County. Yeah. Morgan County, a couple of so years ago, was not fortunate. They, they lost Absolutely. their courthouse. Uh, so I, I realize that scanning is of a concern. And I also realize, Tony, that you haven't a great interest in yeah. preserving the record yeah. so and i'm hoping that we can see the day that everything is well you know we went through that with with, with the circuit clerk we did it took yep. a long time yeah. uh hopefully when they build this new structure over there at dunn building you know you have to compensate for for what you just talked yeah. about you know fireproof and sprinkler proof and all that johnny are the important documents from the county just sitting in file cabinets in the basement somewhere? Big books. Big, the big... Yes. Yeah. They're, not, they're not actually in a fireproof no. safe? Or, no. Huh. No, we have, big, we have vaults where the deeds of trust are and that type mm-hmm. of thing. But as far as uh, the, 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 the big books you're talking about, to go back way... No. Right. They're on shelves. But they are protected by they're in the basement yes, with, co- yeah, with yeah. concrete walls on oh, the yeah, side. Yeah. Uh, okay. They're just not yeah. you know, exposed. But they're 
Because now we've said this out loud, right? I always I believe in the jinx factor, so yeah. you know it's it's we got to do that fast. What is your day like now, now that you've been in there for so long? What, and, <laughs> and is it and is it different than what you thought it was going to no, be? No, it's not. It's not different at all. I mean, it's 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 been an easy process for me. I, you know, I try to get in there before nine o'clock. Today I was in there a little earlier, but um, and pending on the day, you know. You know, state of five, state of four, whatever's needed. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to go sometimes. I have to go back and forth between voter registration, which is, you know, down at the Dunn Building, you know, or at the courthouse. Um, if there's something needed for the county council, you know, I'll head over there. But do you whatever. have programs in mind for your your tenure? Are there major changes or or Not really. drums to beat? No, I just want to try to maintain what we have in the first couple of years, see how it goes, and then move forward with that, you know, and get through the first couple uh, years on the job and and uh, before I ask for any additional entities, which usually cost money. Uh, so, But you have the advantage, Tony. You spent six years mm -hmm. as the county commissioner, and you were very closely working with the county oh, clerk's yeah. office, so you sure, know the sure. office. Sure, yeah. 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 yeah, it shouldn't be a problem there. Budgetary time coming up. That's always a fun time for me uh, to uh, work through that. Mm -hmm. Tony, what's your staffing situation like? Anecdotally, I'd heard reports about people who had been quitting or resigning in the department. Mm -hmm. So has that left you short of manpower? Uh, yes, I think there was a couple that's, that has uh, left um, prior to me taking the office. Uh, I, I've taken a look at that, Rob, and I really don't see any need to – to, to hire anybody for those positions you might be talking about. Um, as of right now, I don't I have no plans on filling those positions. Is there any fallout or anything that you need to follow up on in regards to the last election in which some of the folks in the city of Martinsburg did not have the police levy vote on their ballot? Would that affect the county clerk's office in any way? No, absolutely. I, I, I just mentioned that a while ago. I, I, I think at that time, if there would have been some communication uh, with the city as far as, hey, take a look at this ballot. Is it right? And, you know, they, they didn't, uh, cause, and it was missed. So uh, did They it, didn't because they weren't asked to, or did they not do it I because— I think they weren't asked. That's my opinion. But I'm not going to do that. You know, if there's something on there that belongs, to, that's the part, whether it's a levy or uh, a bond or whatever, um, or councilman that's reelected, I think that's probably going to be on there too also because I don't mm -hmm. think they can have special elections anymore by themselves per state code. I think, I think they're the all state on one now, right? right? Yeah, we, we will get someone, you know, whether it be the mayor or the city recorder or somebody to take a look at that ballot and make sure it's right before it goes to print. Is, is there... Will you be looking into the reasons why that didn't happen? Absolutely. So Absolutely. that you can be sure it yeah. doesn't happen again? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I've had some good conversations with uh, with Tom, who is over the voter registration. And he's new, too. He's only been there, I don't even think, a year, because they went through four or five before this gentleman. So, you know, I didn't want to um, overload him uh, just at first. I want him to get get an idea of who I am and... And what I expect, but we're going to get down to the nitty gritty real soon. Mm -hmm. As part as you know, why didn't this happen? Why didn't we have enough poll workers? Why weren't signs available where they should be at the voting places? Uh, why, you know, why was the uh, uh, city levy not on uh, the ballots where they should have been? Absolutely. I mean, it has to be addressed. Sure. Um, Go ahead, Bill. Yeah, Tony, uh, you are have a. I think a well-justified reputation, one that you're proud of, of being physically conservative. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you, you mentioned several vacancies that you are not going to refill. Mm -hmm. uh, is there? How will you ensure that you have sufficient staff in the critical positions to do the job that needs to be done? Well, Bill, you know, as of being into it in a week, I, 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 I take a look. I had looked at the one job that the person was doing, and we filled that already internally. Um, feel real comfortable with this uh, young woman taking over that with the civil service, mm -hmm. uh, which won't affect anything. I just, um, if it comes to a point though that we find out that um, the other person that 
if we lost somebody else, which I think we did, that it, it becomes too much of a burden. And we're not getting our work done, and we're doing cross training, and it's still not working. Absolutely, sure. I, I don't okay. have to do yeah. you know go to the council and ask yeah. for a um, budget revision or, or whatever. But I didn't put it in the budget this year. No, and I and I applaud you for that because you were the when we served together, you were the individual that we could all count on to be conservative when it came to dollars yeah well we i tried to be yeah tried to be brad Knoll on our facebook page posted poll worker training was deficient before the fall election i received a lot of feedback regarding training yes do you agree with that deficient yes um we plan to um have it in segments uh, there might be, you know, one this week, one next week. Up, in, you know, during the time we can do it. it. Seems like there's always a certain time period per code that we 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 can or can. But we'll have as many of those trainings as needed based on the amount of people. And I think that uh, well, there's a lot of poll workers out there that they didn't use for whatever reason. Uh, that's out there that want to work uh, the polls. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know, they make three hundred dollars a day. Twice as much as they used to. uh, Well, they made two. Uh, So um, I agree with Brad. That's very, very important. And um, that the poll working situation also can cut down on overtime on some of my other departments Mm -hmm. that I wouldn't have to use, uh, as uh, Malk did. Uh, Tony, we have to take our final break here, and we'll be back with a final minute to say goodbye. So thank you for coming in today. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. And you know, anytime you want me to come in, just give me a call. If not, uh, we'll. Uh, I'll put that bat signal some... up in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> or, the, or the Notre Dame fight song. They'll, yes, they'll break We're it. working on that. We're working on it. We'll get it all straightened out eventually. Thank you, Tony. Thank you.